Rich here from 2RC Productions, and we're going to change gears a little bit here today. Uh, we're going to do a review on the Skull Candy Sound Mine, which is a wireless Bluetooth speaker. Uh, I saw nothing on the internet reviewing this product, so that's why we're doing. Normally, we do RC stuff, but we are going to do a review on this product today. So anyway, I got one here sealed in the pack, and it comes in this blister pack, as you can see, which are kind of a pain to open, but it does have some perforated lines in the back where you can peel it away relatively easy. So I have one in the pack sealed up, and then I have one here that I opened up that I can give you a sound demo on. Uh, and basically, I want to go through the options and the features on this. Um, I also own a Skull Candy pipe, which I've had for a couple years now, and the difference between the pipe and the sound mine is the pipe is is a base, so the iPod sits on top of it like that. You have to have it attached to it all the time, and this one works off a of power supply, AC power cord, or alkaline batteries, okay? This one is completely wireless, so once you sync it up to your iPhone, iPod, or other device, you can walk around freely and not have any wires connected. So that, that's the really nice feature about this. Uh, number two, they say it's drop proof. I'm not going to drop it here because I'm not going to take the chance, but I'll take their word for it over at Skull Candy because they make pretty good products. So uh, you can see the shape of it. It's a really cool shape. It, it's got some weight to it, so I'm assuming it's made pretty well. You can see that LED flashing blue light. kind of looks like the PlayStation 4, which is really neat when it's on. You can see it flash and it looks cool at nighttime. Uh, it has a protective grill on the top of the speaker. It's a single speaker. It has a volume up, a volume down, and a power switch in the front. Um, but the neat thing about it is the top is actually solid. It shows you the location of the switch. But underneath is the actual switch. And they also act as a rubber foot, which really grips the ground. So if you have it sitting on something, you know, you don't have to worry about it sliding off of the table. It comes with this USB adapter to charge it, okay? And what I do is I use an adapter from a phone to plug it into the wall because I would rather do that than plug it into the computer. So that's how I charge it. And it took about two hours to charge it, okay? Um, the only thing I don't like about this is this instruction manual that they have. I know this is called Candy's geared towards a younger person. I'm 42 years old, but I don't wear glasses and I can see fine. But I'm telling you what, when I was trying to cipher this mess out, I almost had to get a magnifying glass out to read it. And it doesn't show you any detail of instruction. They just assume that you're going to know how to link this thing up and, and, you know, do that whole process. And believe me, I struggle with this kind of stuff. I'm not very good in the tech department. So that's where I uh, called on my 16-year-old son to help me out with it. And he had it up in about uh, 15 seconds. But the key to this is when you put your iPod or phone, you go to the Bluetooth settings, you turn, turn the Bluetooth setting on, and you have to hold this power button for like five full seconds till it, it makes a special beep to get into the sync mode. Otherwise, what I did was I turned it on and I went beep beep initially, and it was just power on. So it was never, it, you know, my phone or my iPod showed that it was searching, 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 but it wouldn't link up. So anyway, that's the key to that. Um, this is by no means a blow-you-out-of-the-room speaker, but the sound is very crisp, clear, and it does have good bass response. Okay, the other cool feature I think that'll be nice with this is the fact that, you know, being a Bluetooth speaker, you could link up multiple units. I mean, I didn't try it yet, but I'm sure you can. So that's kind of cool because you can put two, three, four together probably if you wanted to. Um, the price on this is $39.99. Now, I bought the pipe a couple years ago that was like $70. It comes with a remote. I mean, it's that thing sounds fantastic. This thing sounds fantastic, but it's definitely not as loud as the pipe. But again, if you're buying a speaker like this, I don't think you're buying it to blow you out of the room. You're buying it for a little background sound, maybe in your office, maybe you're entertaining guests and you want a little background music. This is fantastic because I'll tell you what, when it is up at high volume, and that's how I'm going to play it for you at high volume, it's too loud if you're trying to have a conversation and sit with someone and talk with them. But if you were going to put it in one room and be in another room, probably not loud enough. You can hear it. I had it in the kitchen. I could hear it in the living room down the hallway. But if you had a lot of background noise going on, a lot of people talking and stuff, uh, 
you know, might not be the speaker you want. I would say this is more for smaller groups and for a person by himself when you want to have it, you know, in the background. And believe me, to have this as a speaker just to listen to, if you want to listen to some songs, you don't want it full full blast. You want to go down maybe halfway or so because it is pretty loud and it sounds fantastic for what it is. It's a single speaker, little tiny unit. I, I didn't measure it, but it looks like it's about two and a half inches diameter. I mean, it's little, but it's got some weight to it. Like I said, it, it, it seems like it's a, a good quality product. So I'm gonna give you a little sound demo now, and I'm filming this on a GoPro because I think that's the best uh, thing that I could film it on so you would hear the sound. The GoPro has really good sound pickup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up my iPod here, and I'm gonna play a song from Pirates of the Caribbean theme you know, it's got a little orchestra sound to give you a good overall sound view of the highs, lows, mids, and bass. Here we go. give you a little idea of the sound and I mean it sounds really nice in the room uh, hopefully it comes out good on the GoPro that sound level there is too loud if you're sitting next to this thing and talking to someone and you want to talk to them uh, really nice sounding speaker hopefully it holds up the stand of time and if it drops or whatever like they say it's drop proof hopefully it holds up but obviously the, the draw to this speaker is the fact that it is wireless and the fact that it has a built-in battery so you don't have to worry about feeding alkalines in this thing every other week. You charge it up, you take it around with you, you listen to it in different spots and you don't have cords tangling up and dragging around. So considering what it is, single speaker, I definitely give it a thumbs up. I would buy it again. $39.99, eh, maybe a little costly. But if it's a quality product and it lasts, I would say it's definitely worth the price. So till next time, we'll see you here at RC Productions. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment, tell us what you think. All right, we'll talk to you later.